Hey everyone, I'm Justin, and today I wanted to make a follow-up video to my previous Batman video. Now that we have a little more information based on the DC Fandom Batman panel. So, in my previous video, I argued that it's integral, 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 that Robert Pattinson's, that Robert Pattinson's Batman not kill people or in the upcoming 2021 The Batman Movie. Here's a short clip of me arguing for it in that video. When Batman's parents were killed, he lost the two most important people in his life. Presumably, every person Batman fights has at least one person that would care about them the same way Bruce cared about his parents. Batman shouldn't kill people because if he does, he is putting someone through that same trauma and hardship that he experienced when his parents were killed. If he kills people, he is no better than Joe Chill, the person who murdered his parents. Almost every superhero has dead parents, but Batman, going through the thought process that I laid out, gives him such a unique characterization that you don't find a lot in action or even superhero movies. If you haven't checked out that video yet, please check that out first. This is going to be kind of like a part two follow-up kind of video to that video. So at the... DC Fandom, the Batman panel, Matt Reeves said some things that I think kind of hint towards Batman not killing. Not not like a confirmation that he's not going to kill, just some things that make me cautiously optimistic. So I'll go through each thing he says, or in one case it's, it's actually a scene from the trailer, uh, and then I'll explain why they make me cautiously optimistic. But before we get started, please consider subscribing. It's the best thing you can do to help the channel grow, and it's free. And once I get to some number in the thousands, I'll be able to monetize my videos, which means I'll be able to make more videos and release them more frequently, like more Batman videos, more Doctor Who videos, more of all the types of videos that I do. Uh, and I'd really like to be able to do that. So if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing that. So the first thing he talks about that points to maybe Batman not killing is he stresses the importance of Batman's morality and kind of him figuring out his own personal ethics and morals throughout the film. You have said uh, that all of us imagine ourselves or have imagined ourselves to be Batman. And I know that's why I love those stories from the time I was a kid, because he isn't he didn't come from another planet. Right. He doesn't have magical powers. He's just a guy totally. that wants to do good. And that's the thing. The other question is, what is good? One of the things that I think is interesting is learning how to be Batman. I think the most telling thing he says in that clip is that the movie will explore what is good. He could be talking about any number of things, like whether working outside the law is good. However, there is a chance that he is in fact talking about whether it's good to kill criminals or not to kill criminals. He didn't really specify what he was talking about, so this is just speculation for me. So the second thing he says is much more concretely addressing the issue. Uh, it's basically just describing what Batman's going to be doing during the movie. So. We'll watch and then I'll explain why I think this is indicative of Batman not killing. That's amazing. Evla from Germany says, it's already known that the movie is going to explore Bruce's second year as Batman. How do the citizens of Gotham perceive the vigilante? Oh, that's a good question. Because it's still early and because he is a vigilante, which means he takes the law into his own hands. I mean, if you were in a city and there was a guy who dressed up as a bat, and showed up out of the shadows and sometimes confronted those people and beat them up because he felt what they were doing was wrong so that he could sort of put the fear of God in them about the crimes that they're committing. I think we would wonder, well, gee, that, that guy sounds a little dangerous. He's not yet the vision of the character that he becomes where he becomes a symbol of hope for the city. Notice how he said beat them up. He didn't say kill them or murder them or anything like that. Usually when people say they beat someone up, it implies that they're they're hurt pretty bad, but they're still alive. If you want to get really technical about it, Oxford Dictionary defines beating someone up as assault and severely injure someone by hitting, kicking, or punching them repeatedly. 
So, you know, even though people are severely injured, they haven't died. And the last scene actually is a scene from the trailer, not the panel. So in this scene, he's, uh, he's going really hard on this guy. Uh, you probably know what scene I'm talking about if you have seen the trailer. So again, we'll watch it and then I'll explain why I think that this is a pointer that he's not gonna kill people. The hell are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance. This scene was shown to demonstrate how hardcore Batman is in the movie. So if he had killed someone, they probably would have showed him killing someone since that would be more hardcore. Unless they haven't filmed the scenes where Batman kills someone yet, since only about one-fourth of the movie has been filmed at this point. It seems to be one of the most hardcore scenes in the movie where Batman really goes the craziest, but even here in this, what I think is an extreme example of it, doesn't kill that guy. Well, none of these things confirm that Batman won't be doing any killing during this movie. I think all three of these things make me really cautiously optimistic that, you know, maybe there's a chance that he won't. Something just feels right about the Batman movie from these hints at not killing to having a very young, like, year two Batman, and even, like, the black and red aesthetic that really resembles Daredevil, and just the emphasis on Batman as a detective instead of a uh, big action hero like we've seen in most of the previous live-action Batman movies. So I'm personally very excited for this film, and I can't wait to see it. So that's all I have for you guys today. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And please let, let me know in the comments, are you excited for the upcoming The Batman movie? And do you think Batman should kill? Do you think he shouldn't kill? Do you not really care about it? Well, whatever your opinion is, please let me know. I'd love to discuss this with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Stay slight.